Hello and welcome back to our video series on Power BI Basics. Today we're going to be talking about tables. I'm excited because we're finally now starting to get into the visual piece of Power BI, which is the really fun piece. If you haven't watched any of the other videos in this series, uh, I would recommend doing so. We're currently releasing a video every single day um, to teach you the basics of Power BI. Some of them, I'll admit, are a little better than others, but uh, you know, at the very least, it's a good introduction to the topics. All right, so today we're covering tables. So I currently have open the sales and return sample V2019-12 from Microsoft. Uh, this is a free Power BI data set that if you Google, you can download from Microsoft's GitHub. It's great for these kind of tutorials because it already has a pre-configured data model. So we can all be starting from the same place. So if you want to just give that a quick Google, it'll come up and you can download it. All right, now we're going to be inserting a table. So we haven't covered how to insert a visual, but you can insert a visual by going over to this insert section and then clicking insert, at which point you can then select the visual either from this pop down or um, from this drop down right here or from this drop down right here or you can double click the visual that you want to create with either this drop down over here or if you have this build section popped out over here the table is this little icon right here and you don't want to con uh, confuse it with a matrix table which is something we'll be covering in our next video so, so subscribe if you haven't um, but it's very similar to a pivot table but a table is right here. So you click this table button and then you can add data. And in Power BI, you add data by dragging it between your data section over here and your column section over here. Or you can do that by clicking this right here and dragging it over from your data section over here. And if you don't have these pop outs, you can turn them on by clicking these icons over here. So let's just build a quick a quick column by bringing over ID from the sales and then amount. And so what you can see is Power BI is going to do a few things automatically that you, you might not want. First, it's going to enable a total row, and then it's going to automatically band the rows. I'm going to show you how to adjust those. So in Power BI, it can be kind of tricky to find formatting settings. They they're not sometimes named, and I, I love the Power BI team, but sometimes they, they're not named the most obvious of things. Um, so what you can actually do is you can just search color up top. And what that's going to do is that's going to bring over all of the icons, right, or settings that have to do with color. So if I search here, right, there's our color, colors, <laughs> colors and we'll continue on down but if you wanted to turn off banding it's going to be under this values section and within values you can actually go in and you can set these so for example if I wanted to turn off my banding I could go here and now that's a lot cleaner more simplistic of a table and then if I want to for example change the the text color up top or change the color of the totals value. So like if I wanted to go and assign it a bottom row of a specific color, I could do that. Or um, highlight a specific column, right? So like maybe my column at the end um, is, is a specific column, right? I can go and do that. Um, and then finally, cell elements, I can also have dynamic formatting, so kind of conditional formatting rules with either background color or font color. Let's go back, though, to our totals row. So if we go into totals right here, we can do a few different things. So first of all, we can just shut it off completely, which you might want to do if you, you don't have a column filled with values. But you can also go ahead and you can um, change it. So maybe I want this to say average instead, right? because maybe it's the sum of averages or something. So you can, or maybe I wanted to say total sales. You can adjust it right here, and then you can also adjust the uh, text color as well. You can 
and that's the totals row. You can also then apply formatting to a specific color. So you can either apply it to, um, here's how you select the column. Sorry, I think I said color. So you can also apply formatting to a specific column. Here's how you, how you select that column. And then you can select if you want to apply it to the header, the total row, or the values, where you want it to align. So for example, if I wanted to the um, ID to align in one specific area, or I can change the display units or the decimal points. Um, but yeah, so that's that's kind of a simple overview of table formatting. Just to reiterate my quick tips here, when you inevitably want to change a color, just search for color. And then you're going to have to click through all of them, but they'll move around as Power BI updates things. So just, just know that you might have to change that. Let's, com let's cover a few other things in, in Power BI. Uh, visuals or table view. So first you can adjust a visual by moving this around. If you ever remember putting together like a book report or something in high school, right? Visuals, they, they stack on top of each other with the layering order. So you can go ahead and you can adjust that layering order um, by going into selection and moving them up or down. You also can then go ahead and you can move them around. Once you have a visual, it's going to take up this space. And then you know, with the table, you can adjust the columns by going all the way out here or going all the way out here. And you can also adjust the final row over here by moving all of these around. And then you can move them. Very similar to images or like layers in Photoshop, you can also kind of make them not visual or hide them. Um, but yeah, that's tables in Power BI. If there's something I didn't cover or if something I said was unclear or sometimes I have a little slip of the word, leave a comment. I'll get back to you. I'm looking to make these videos engaging um, and I'm still kind of getting up to speed on, on the best way to do that. But if you're interested in learning more about Power BI, please subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks.